One of the great benefits, the cool things about churchmilitant.tv uh, is because we're on the internet, and that's the thrust of where, we, where, where we're involved in our work, uh, is that uh, there really is kind of a worldwide stage. Uh, and it's, this is different really from many apostolates because uh, we wind up getting invited to speak in various places all over the world. We were in Europe uh, just a little bit ago in uh, uh, the Netherlands and in Belgium. And I can't tell you how, what a charge it is to, when you go around the world and you have a complete stranger walk up to you and say, I want to say thank you very much for the work you guys do at Church Militant. I came back to the faith because of what you guys do. And... Uh, I was really, I was talking with uh, our cameraman, Matthew Pearson, uh, coming back on the plane uh, from this trip. I, I, I lost count. I think we had seven or eight different people uh, in Europe there come up to us and make a comment like that. Uh, and uh, one lady, a somewhat older lady, was almost in tears. And you're thinking, well, what a great blessing to be able to do this kind of work. And, uh, uh, and to be able to, you know, it's a prayer we have here, uh, you know, twice a day publicly and many times privately. Uh, you know, Lord Jesus, use me to save souls. Uh, you know, keep me faithful to your teaching. Never let me be parted from you. Uh, we offer that prayer collectively as an apostle in morning prayer and evening prayer in the chapel. And then various times during the day, just privately, individuals saying it privately. And that really is the name of the game. It really is, and it's and it's it's what we are absorbed in here. Uh, it, it always has been. Uh, uh, St. Michael's Media, of course, was the uh, the first effort. We married that to what is now Church Militant TV. Uh, we have this double uh, approach going, and uh, and to know that no matter where we go in the world, uh, that. There are people, because of this wonderful technology of the internet, which, let's face it, you know, a lot of times it's used for goofiness. The vast majority of traffic that goes on on the internet uh, is pornography. Uh, it's an enormous, multi, multi billions of dollars industry. Uh, and a number of years ago, when Father Pablo Straub, who uh, just died recently, God rest his soul, wonderful, wonderful friend to us. Uh, a mentor to me. He was staying at my house when he was here uh, visiting us know, four or five years ago. And he said to me, uh, he looked right at me and he goes, Michael, we must bring Christ to the internet. That was probably about six years ago, actually. And it always stuck with me. And without, I, I didn't sort of consciously say, okay, well, we're going to go start this effort, but it just kind of evolved like that. And here we are. And, uh, uh, and it really is the case. We, we have to use these technologies. We, you can get to people. You can get to people where they live. There's a, something about that anonymity of the internet that if somebody, for whatever reason, is being touched by actual grace as opposed to sanctifying grace, if someone is being touched by actual grace and they're living their life apart from the faith, for whatever reason, apart from the truth, for people who aren't baptized Catholics. If they're living their lives apart from the truth, divorced from the faith, you know, there's that something inside them. There's that, that imago Dei, that image of God. However corrupted it might have become or be, been surrounded by in the soul because of sin and all of that, there is, it is still there. As a matter of fact, it's the source of the pain for the damned because they never lose that, just the same way the, when the angels fell and became demons, they never lost their angelic natures. They became uglied and perverted and twisted and distorted, but the core of who they are, an angelic nature, remains. Well, that's the same with us. Our human nature, made to the image and likeness of God, remains. It's glorified in heaven, and it's persecuted, tortured, and damned in hell. Uh, but it is still there. So while people are still breathing and while there's still hope, we get the opportunity here through this wonderful medium of the internet to speak to them collectively, but privately. Privately on, they're sitting there in front of their computer, and if they're troubled, as we hope they are, because that's what the Holy Spirit does, did it with me, did it with loads of people. If you are troubled in your conscience, 
and somebody is sitting there accusing your conscience, not to damn you, but to say, wake up, get up, come on, come back to the truth, where else are they going to hear that message privately one-on-one? -on -one? And uh, if you're not in that condition where, I mean, obviously you're still a sinner, but if you're, if you're not immersed in sin and reveling in your sin, uh, and you need encouragement to go and talk to people and say, hey, you know, get out of your sin, blind man. Let me lift you out of the pit. Let me help you. Uh, that's the other thing that we're able to accomplish here with Church Militant. TV is to take Catholics who are somewhat tepid and a little nervous and it's not their personality and we hear that all the time. I started watching you and I started getting more bold. You guys, what you guys do is great. It, it, it finally said, yeah, I lit a fire under me. Good. That's the point. That's the point. Um, so uh, what we do here uh, is precisely that. As we've said before, it's about inspiring people to go out and save the world. First of all, realize that the world needs saving, that only, only the Holy Catholic Church established by Jesus Christ under Peter is capable of doing that. No other institution was set up by that. Evil, because it comes from the diabolical, is too powerful for an unassisted human or humanity to be able to overcome. You bet on a human and a demon, you bet on the demon every time because the, a human cannot battle a demon on his own. Assisted by grace, however, the human, as our Lord said, you can trample him underfoot. I've given you the power to tread on scorpions. And that's, that's what the role of the church is, is to, uh, you know, to give glory to God by saving souls and giving us the, uh, the, 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 the power uh, in a small p, power to be able to help other people also join in this battle, the battle of the church militant. Uh, so, uh, you know, what we do here is precisely that. You know, we, we, we produce videos so we can talk to an audience at large. Tens of thousands of people watch any video we put out. And that's not like a, hey, we're great. That's a thank you, God. Thank you for answering our prayer to help us be able to save souls. And we want to be able to help people, you know, uh, engage in this work with us. It's, you know, we, we have a $10 a month uh, 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 premium channel subscription service. $10 a month, I mean, I know for some people that's a stretch, their fixed incomes are, but for most people it's not. $10 a month is the price of a cup of coffee a week. It's, you don't even notice it for the most part. And we have thousands of people that help us out with this and other people who send us donations and everything. But, uh, and you know, we're very grateful for that. But you know, the, all of this stuff costs money for us to be able to bring young people in here and help form them in the faith uh, as they participate in the work themselves. Uh, to be able to get the word out about the condition of the church and why things have to change. And uh, you know, we're fighting a war here. It's a war. And if we're not in it's kind of the war prep, you know, the stage of being mentally prepared for war, you're going to lose the war individually as souls and collectively as a civilization. And we see Western civilization is badly beaten. It's on its deathbed. Uh, and as John Paul said, you know, with regard to the church uh, back in the 70s or early 80s, I mean, this is it. You know, the idea of averting a final tribulation for the world, gone. That it's, it's, you cannot avert it. It's just all you can do is talk about it in terms of, you know, how, uh, you know, how colossal will this battle be? Uh, and, you know, and what will the fallout of it be? So uh, we want to prepare people for this. We want to prepare people as individuals and as, uh, you know, for their own salvation and so that they can become disciples in the church militant and go out and help save as many people as they can. You need training, you need knowledge, you need to understand what you're talking about. It isn't enough to just say, uh, you know, oh, I believe. Well, your belief without action is dead. Faith without works is dead. Uh, and, uh, you know, St. James tells us that in the scriptures. Start as Eucharist, that's, that's the main thing, with prayer. And then fold your hands together and then work with your hands. Okay.
I don't think the the apostle had a method or or, or a scheme or whatever. He just went out with the, the, the Lord's words. No, no rucksack. No, no extra money or clothing. Just go out with the word. And there were only twelve of them. Yeah. It's like the curé of R said. We only need twelve holy people. It's enough for the whole world. <laughs> well, it is. That is true. Yeah, but I think we are weak. Yeah. Yeah. Afraid. yeah. Well, yes. Uh, of what? I think we should be afraid later if you don't do anything. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we're about here at Church Militant. That's what we're trying to get people to say, hey, I support what you guys do. Uh, even if I don't agree with every single way you say something, you know, show me a person walking around on earth who everyone on earth agreed with how they said something. That's, it, it, she's not going to find it because those, th that doesn't boil down to questions of truth. That comes down to just questions of style. And not everybody has the same type of style. And not everybody's, you know, can hear the same type of style. Okay, fine. But, uh, you know, what we're asking is, do you get the mission of what we do here? Do you support what it is we're doing? Uh, and if you do, can you help us? Ten bucks a month, premium subscription. That's, that's all it is. Uh, so, uh, you know, what's important and the only thing that's important is salvation. That's it. And that's everything we are about here at churchmilitant.tv. That's it. So if you can help us, we're very, very grateful. If you can't, at least please keep us in your prayers. If you're helping us also, please keep us in your prayers. Uh, but everything we do here is about, uh, is about saving souls. And uh, it is a magnificent work to be involved in. Exhausting sometimes, many times, but it's a good exhaustion. It's like going to the gym and coming home exhausted, but going, I feel great. I'm in great pain. Pain is a blessing. Yeah, pain can sometimes be a blessing.